We got a very sensitive subject, dog. We gonna get it in. We gonna talk about the studs, man. So y'all hold on, man, because it's a very offensive and very sensitive one. That is, it really needs to be talked about. And we're gonna use logic. We're gonna use a higher form of rationale. By the way, studs, that's how men are really built. We don't revert back to uh, a nature that doesn't apply to us, which is emotions. Now you're going to get emotional about it because you're built that way. And we have to really take it for what it is. So let's get into it, man. So y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also leave me a comment, express your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this one because we got to deal with it. A stud. It's really a bull, a horse, a rooster. I use those three for a particular reason because typically use uh, those three species because they, they, they kind of refer to as studs. Stud horse impregnating a mare, stud rooster impregnating chickens, you know what I mean? And then you have a stud bull who impregnate cows, right? The key word is this, impregnation and how to impregnate you impregnate by just being a seed carrier. Now, hey, unfortunately, the women that call themselves studs, you don't have that ability. You're not genetically created to impregnate. Now, you have these alternatives, and then you still want to, you know, carry on the role of a father once an unnatural process happened, which is the insemination taking you know sperm out of a petri dish and putting it into your wife or your girlfriend but anyway that's not constituting you being a stud because we know that that is not your seed i'm sorry i'm not making fun of you i'm just stating an actual fact now this is my uh recommendation for you studs because you have to you have to take it for what it is. In order to have masculine energy into that said relationship, you got to have an actual, actual uh, 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 masculine man in that component. Now, I'm going to promote polyamory. Polyamory for studs and their wives or girlfriends, right? Let the man be the man of both of you. And if you choose to continue to be like what they call a tomboy, you know, and still have some type of masculine traits, okay, fine, all right? But... You have that urge sometimes let's not kid ourselves genetically clitoris it still have a you know and i get it some of you oh no no i don't have no type of desire for a man right 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 but the desire you do you that you do have is to have the persona or the energy of the said man and what comes with that energy him having the phallus. You just don't want him to penetrate you, but you should allow that. That's my point. Now, the problem I have with you being a stud, this is the problem. It is essentially a gray area. It is a walking contradiction. Now, what do I mean? The gray area is you have the persona of a man. You look hard. You come off hard. You talk hard. You have this brass voice and you have this charisma about you that suggests that you can handle yourself or you strong and you come off like the actual toxic men that women complain about wow that don't sound like a contradiction to you but anyway let's go but what's on the inside of the said so called stud it's that cream Billy. she's soft and she wants to be sweet for her woman. But you actually are sweet and soft and understanding in real life, genetically. Not only that, you want the respect, you want to still be viewed as a female. You want the female conveniences, you want the female treatment, right? at your luxury but at, at the end of the day you want to still have the respect of a man you want to give off the energy 
that you think men should portray themselves as <laughs> to women. Now I get it. Some of you are gonna say, well, no, 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 no. That ain't why I wanna be a stud. I'm a stud because I'm made this way. No, no, no. You was conditioned to feel that way. Okay? Now, again, you're genetically wired to be an emotional creature. Now, some of these relationships, they are very abusive and are very toxic. And essentially, a lot of you as studs, you cheat on your girl just like how I do would. So what is the point? of even carrying on this persona when in essence it's a walking contradiction it's a contradiction because you don't want to be treated like a man for real because look i'm gonna share this story real quick man i had a situation where this stud so-called stud came to the club i was bouncing at and i do i was at the door searching and the stud didn't want to be searched and she did not want to pay even though it was ladies night right ladies night say hey you know you ladies get in free after 10 or before 10. she did not want to pay and it was before 10 but anyway i told her i said look i'm gonna have to search you and you're gonna have to pay she asked me why she wanted to get into you know a back and forth i said hey long story short my girl I'm not a politician, it is what it is. Either you're gonna do it, or you could, you have the freedom to walk away and go home, or go with somewhere else. But anyway, she she gave the consent, and I told her before I put my hands on you, you know, this is not harassment. Do you consent? She said yes, okay, she got searched. But long story short, she paid, got searched, went into the club, got the fight, right? But before I keep going with this, is it said that a man is weak if he hit on a woman and that the idea is that he's stronger than her and that testosterone and all this other stuff right but why isn't that not the same when a stud beats on a female is it not said that women that have this going on that they have higher levels of testosterone than a regular female why would they not be deemed as weak and corny and a puss uh, yeah, all that stuff right why y'all don't look at them like that but anyway she goes in there fighting swinging on a girl beating her down and me you know being part of we call it a cert team or an extraction team we go and break up the melee because it was a big fight up in that club but anyway i go to snatching a couple people out and then i'm having to snatch her because she on the bottom pretty much ground and pounding this girl so i snatch her up too huck bell cousin comes out and say man we were grabbing her like that for man that's a female oh now she's a female see you want the treatment you want the conveniency of a female but you want people to view you as a male figure no it doesn't work that way that's a contradiction so I put her out and then I asked the male cousin now, okay, I can I can deal with you now. What's up? He didn't want them problems. But anyway, the problem is this, y'all. There's too many gray areas and there is no such thing as a woman being a stud, nor are you an alpha. All that stuff is masculine principles, masculine traits, and that is not the natural order of life. You have to have a yin and a yang, and anything that's in between that is not normal. So Go ahead, practice polyamory. Y'all get y'all a real man, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you have that urge to want to maybe have some kids one day, in which I'm here, some of y'all do. It's, to me, it's a no-brainer. Just have a man in y'all polyamorous situation. And that right there within itself would give you the best of both worlds. You feel me? 